Well, no swaith da. Pawb a croeso i coleg goi rabatau. Well, good evening and welcome to Go at Gower College Swansea. My name is Nikki Neal. I'm the Director of Curriculum and Quality here at the College and I'm delighted to welcome you all here tonight to give you an introduction to our um, open evening, our virtual open evening, as a first step in your relationship with us and starting to get to know about what we have on offer in the College and how we can support you. If you have any questions along the way, then please feel free to use the question and answer box and we'll pick them up um, either during the, the, the course of this uh, conversation or at the end. Uh, we can, you're welcome to ask questions in Welsh or English uh, and we'll do our best to uh, reply obviously in that language of choice as well. There are also subtitles um, uh, for you that you can use and you need to click on the settings at the bottom of your screen and then click on the options for captions, uh, which will give you some subtitles or actually having this presentation through the medium of Welsh. Just a little word of warning, we can't guarantee exactly the quality of the subtitles because that's part of the team package. They're not always as accurate. Well, you know, these are challenging times, as we know, you know, COVID continues to present problems for us. At Gower College Swansea, we are proud of, of the record that we have into keeping our learners and staff safe. Uh, we prioritise face to face delivery. Um, and because of that, we made the decision that we wouldn't be able to have a face to face open evening this evening to keep um, minimise the, the amount of people on campus. So hence us going to a virtual open evening. We will hope that maybe later on in the year we will be able to open up and return to face to face. But at the moment we're trying to ensure we keep everyone as safe as possible by um, do, using this means uh, of communication with you. Um, if we have learned anything from the challenging times over the last two years, it is the importance of education, not purely uh, in terms of academic achievement, but very much about the well-being of the, the learners. And we understand that, you know, making those choices to for the next step for you is, is, is a difficult one. Uh, and we want you to be able to really take the time to explore the best option for you because where you want to study and how what you want to study are absolutely key decisions. But the staff are here and available tonight for you to be able to ask questions for them. We're very incredibly proud of the results at Gower College Swansea. And we know that studying at a, at a large college can provide significant benefits, um, particularly in terms of choice. So we have over 40 A-level subjects that you can choose from, as well as 40 vocational study, uh, vocational subjects at all levels. So that means that there will be definitely a course for you. And also with that choice comes a huge range of progression opportunities as well. Um, which you can again explore through some of the questions that you might be able to answer uh, with the staff tonight. If you haven't seen the virtual experience on our website yet, then my colleague is going to add the URL to the chat. Now, if you're a bit of a technophobe like me, you'll be wondering what the URL actually means. That just means a link that you can click that will take you through into the, into the chat rooms. When you go into the chat rooms, they're text based. That means that you can't talk to people live, but what you can do is put your questions via the chat to the staff uh, where they can actually answer your questions. So the, those questions could be subject specific questions about you know, whether you should take maths A level uh, if you're doing physics or whether you want to do sport um, and the, what the course entails um, or they're about support because we've also got our support staff available that actually can talk to you about the support that you might need for additional learning needs or um, whether you need to you feel you're going to need to reset your English or your maths. So take, take some time to have a look uh, through the courses, ask some questions and see what we can do to help you progress on your learning journey. 
we are also open to applications. I can see that somebody's already put a question in the chat room for us about the best time to apply. Well, we've already had a number of applications, so we'd encourage you to put your application in as soon as possible so that um, you know then that you're in the process of, of being uh, interviewed and being offered a place on your chosen um, course, because we, we will try and support that the best way we possibly can. Um, if you want to put an application in this evening after having the uh, had conversations or chats with staff, then please do and head to the, our website uh, and look and search for the application and um, you'll be able to find the actual online application on our website. Um, I'm just going to check to see if we've got any more questions coming through um, for me while we're on it, more general questions. Um, and if not, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to just scroll down, bear with me to see if we've got any questions coming up. Um, right, so it's the question here asking that you have applied, which is great news, and when you will find out you've been accepted and our options are compatible. So what you will find um, is in the next coming weeks, uh, if you have applied, you will get uh, information sent to you from our admissions department um, and we will be inviting you in for some interviews. Now this may, because of the actual high rates of COVID at the moment, this may not actually happen till the beginning of February, but don't worry, we will be seeing everybody and then we can talk through at that point all your uh, options um, that you actually have uh, that you, you want to study. Again, because of the large scale um, that we uh, operate with our A-level provision and, and Lucy, uh, our Dean of, of Faculty who looks after A-levels, will, will give you all this information following my disc, my chat. Um, we are we pretty much can guarantee your options. It, it's, it's pretty, um, we're able to have that flexibility just because of the, the scale and size of our provision. But Lucy will be able to give you more information uh, about that um, in, in the next um, discussion. Um, OK, and let me just check to see what the other questions are as we go down. Um, OK, we can't see here or anything as the session started. I'm hoping that people can um, hear me. Um, Okay, that seems to be answered. Okay. My daughter will be leaving school in the summer 23. When should she apply again? Anything about um, if, if she's leaving, uh, your son or daughter's apply is leaving school uh, in the summer 23, then we would, ex we would suggest that um, Around Christmas time is a really good time. Christmas, January time, a really good time to apply the, the before um, they they actually the summer before they they finish. So basically, that would be um, next Christmas, so sort of December, November, December time. Come to the open evenings. They'll have had some taster sessions with us, I hope. Um, so that would be the best time to actually um, apply. Uh, the buses, information about the buses again will be given when you come in for interview uh, and when we have the um, the early enrolments in June and we, we, we've got people available from the buses there to talk about the um, bus routes. Um, if you're not sure which subjects to apply for, then again, go into the different chat rooms, ask uh, uh, questions of the staff that are there um, and you know, jump in from chat room to chat room to see what you think is the best way for you. OK, so. Um, we're now going to go over to if there's more questions on, on the chat. Uh, in the chat room, we'll continue to um, answer those questions for you. Um, it's time for me now to hand over to Lucy, uh, who is going to talk about the uh, A-level provision uh, at the college. And then following that, then we have got Josh, who's going to talk through the student support services available for all learners, not just those with additional learning needs uh, and the extracurricular. So we'll continue to answer the questions that have been posed. Um, but we'll pass on now to uh, Lucy to um, cover the A-level provision. Diolch, thank you. Thank you for listening. Good evening. 
my name is Lucy Hartnell and I'm a Dean of Faculty here at the College. I'm also the A-Level Lead and the Lead at Gosainan Campus. I'm going to talk to you tonight specifically about what we offer at our Gosainan Campus in relation to our A-Level provision and our uh, vocational provision, as well as our Oxbridge programme and the support that you can expect in your time at our college. Um, as my colleague Nikki Neal has said, one of the benefits of studying in college is that you have a wide range of subjects and courses open to you. And we're very proud that at Gorsain and Campus, we hold the largest A-level provision in Wales, offering you a choice of around 40 A-levels, which you can study in any combination. We don't restrict those combinations in terms of the subjects that you wish to study. And we also offer a good range of vocational courses, including in sport and public services, health and social care, child care, engineering and motor vehicle, creative media, performing arts, and in business and technology. So you really do get very good choice of subjects and courses on this campus. Now our A-level provision and the outcomes we achieve have a long-standing reputation for being amongst some of the best in Wales. But we're really proud also of the support that we give our learners uh, during their time at college and studying either A-level or vocational programmes the support that we give them in helping them make the right choice onto their next stage, whether that's onto university or into employment. All of our full-time learners have a personal tutor and that personal tutor is the first point of contact for our learners. Should you need any support at all, whether that's something to do with your academic studies or something more personal, so it's a little bit like a form tutor that you will have in school. As I said, the support that we give our learners in progressing onto the next uh, stage of their learning is second to none. This year, over a thousand learners progress to university and we currently have over 200 learners studying at leading Russell Group institutions such as Oxford and Cambridge. In December, uh, we were really excited to launch our GCS Academic Honours Programme. Now, this is a programme that is unique to Gower College and it's essentially a programme that supports our more able and talented learners in making competitive applications to university. The GCS Honours Programme is open to all our learners and allows you to attend extracurricular classes which will support you in making those applications for example to Oxford, Cambridge or on to Medicine or on to any of those Russell Group universities. We'll support you in the application process, we'll support you in preparing for interviews and we'll support you in gaining work experience places which you will need, for example, if you want to progress into medicine or dentistry or veterinary science. So our A-level provision here will provide you with the very best opportunities to progress onto your next stage of learning. We would love you to join our campus at Gosainan and we can guarantee that we will support you every step of the way whilst you are in college. I've been looking at some of the questions, so I'm going to answer some of the questions now that are in the chat. So there is a question, I touched on it about studying medicine at university and the support that you will receive. Well, the answer is you will get the very best support for studying, uh, for progressing on to medicine. Learners who wish to make applications to medicine attend extra tutorial sessions with our specialist um, science staff and in those sessions they will help them with their applications, they will help them find um, their work experience places 
and it will arrange for mock interviews. So the support and the progression onto medicine is actually very good at the college. OK. Um, so we have a question on applying for more than one course. You are more than welcome to apply for more than one course. This is something that students regularly do if they're unsure. They can apply for a couple of courses or more than three or four A levels. And then when you when we interview you and when we speak with you one to one, we will give you advice about perhaps narrowing down um, those choices or indeed you can wait until after you receive your, your GCSE results where we will give you further information about those courses and you will have interviews with us. So don't worry about putting down more than one uh, choice on your application. OK, so there's a question as well about predicted grades and you haven't had those predicted grades yet. Um, don't worry about your predicted grades at the moment. We do obviously our courses do have entry requirements. We will talk to you about those entry requirements when you come into college or if we come into the schools to interview you. You should be getting your predicted grades before you have your interviews with us and we can use those as a basis for advising and guiding you onto the right course because we really do have the, uh, a course for everyone at the college. Questions about being stuck in terms of career choices. My advice to you would be to um, apply for those subjects and courses that you think you're interested in. Have a look at our prospectus. Um, go into the virtual, the, the chat rooms um, and ask about specific subjects and courses. And then during your time at college, maybe those career aspirations will become a little bit clear. But for a minute, think about what you're good at, what you enjoy doing and have a look at the range of courses that are on offer. Uh, question about the same qualifications if you study BTEC or A level. Yes, if you study an extended diploma, a BTEC extended diploma at level three, you will come out with the equivalent of a three A level qualification. And for some learners, those vocational courses are more suited. It, you need to think about do you prefer uh, more coursework based courses? Do you like exams? And think about your skill set when you're making those choices and we're here to help you every step of the way in making um, those right course choices. So question about uh, from Katie, thank you. What will be covered in the interview? We'll chat to you about the, the um, choice on your application form, the course that you've applied, uh, applied for about your skill set, what you enjoy, maybe what you want to do in the future. And we'll use that as a guide to then advise you onto the right course. Um, there's a question about a course. So a course I'm talking about maybe is an A-level course and you're right. Um, there's no name attached to that. An A-level course could be a choice of three or four A-levels or a vocational course such as health and social care, where you will study a number of units that make up that qualification. Uh, students, I've got questions here and students often ask about how many A-levels to study. So we recommend three or four A-level subjects. There aren't any restrictions on, on uh, which subjects you can combine together. Um, we do the Welsh Baccalaureate as part of our A-level offer, so that would be an additional subject for you. But I would say maybe put three or four down on your application form. We don't offer, I have a question here about EPQ. We offer the Welsh Bac and not the EPQ as part of your Welsh Bac you will be completing the individual project, which is a project based qualification, the same as the extended project qualification. So the same skills are covered. You'll be able to talk in uni university interviews about the skills you've developed 
um, through, through completing the individual project as part of the Welsh back. Don't wait for your grades. I've got a question here from uh, Anonymous. Don't wait for your grades before applying to college. Um, if you apply to college as soon as possible, maybe after you've been in um, the chat rooms to speak to some subjects and some courses tonight, put in an application and then we can get in contact with you to further advise and guide you um, when you come in or we, we do your interviews with you. So I have specific questions, for example, um, about A levels, such as what do I need for a job in maths? Do I need a maths A level? So my uh, recommendation this evening is if you have specific questions about A level subjects, then if you go, um, my colleague is putting the link in the Q&A session, you can go into our text based chat room and you can chat with staff from those individual subjects and they will be able to advise you in a bit more detail if you have subject specific questions. I'm just going to do a few more questions before I hand over to my colleague. So a question about what involvement parents have um, as their children pro progress through A-levels. You have access to um, our system where you can have a look at your son or daughter's progress, their attendance. You will have access to their subject reports and to their mark books so you can see how they're progressing. And we also have um, parents evenings um, during the AS year and the A2 year and you will also know who your son or daughter's personal tutor is so you will be able to contact them if you have any concerns. So it is something that parents often ask us um, what is the relationship like between the, co uh, the college and parents and you have access to that information um, that is on the system regarding attendance and your son or daughter's progress. OK, I'm just going to take a couple more and then what I will do, I'll continue answering uh, the questions when we go on to the next presentation. So the soonest you can apply for college, you can apply um, right away. If you go onto our website, um, you will see an application section and you can fill in that as soon as possible. Question about doing BTEC with A-levels. It isn't impossible, but because an extended diploma, uh, a BTEC is equivalent to three A-levels, we don't usually have students doing A-levels alongside BTEC. Sometimes there are timetable restrictions uh, about that, but we can advise you specifically more about that when you make your application. OK, so my colleague um, Josh is going to talk. I can see um, questions about support and bus routes and things like that. So I'm going to hand over to my colleague in a moment who will talk to you about the wider support that you can expect to receive as a learner at Gower College. And I'll continue to answer those questions that are in the chat. So thank you for listening. We're excited to receive your application and to meet you in the future. Diolch and Fawr. Hi everyone, my name is Josh and I'm the Learner Engagement and Personal Development Lead here at Gower College Swansea. My role, I look after the tutorial here at college. Um, students leave with a handful of different experiences, uh, talks from guest speakers, um, and it really brings everything together for, for the students. They take away life skills that they wouldn't normally without the tutorial provision. As always, if you've got any questions along the way, please pop them into the Q&A chat box um, and we'll pick them up. Uh, again, you, you can ask these in Welsh or English and we'll try to answer them as best as we can. Uh, so I'm going to talk to you about uh, the student support here at the college. OK, so we have dedicated staff who can provide you with information, support and advice on everything from uh, bus routes, as mentioned earlier, OK, all the way through to funding and support. 
We've got specialist support for students with additional learning needs or disabilities, um, and that's always available. And that is also available prior. So if you let us know on your application um, that you do have a, additional learning needs, then we can also set up transitional meetings before you even come to college to see how we can best uh, adapt the, the courses for you. Uh, student life is a massive part of the college here. Um, we've got a variety of different uh, initiatives that you can get yourself involved with, such as GCS Active. Um, and Jess is our GCS Active leader, and she's running different um, physical activity and wellbeing sessions throughout your college timetable, um, but also outside of college as well. Our enrichment programme, um, as Lucy mentioned, we've got our honours programme. We've also got our enterprise and fundraising activities, uh, and we've also got our dedicated uh, Kenya project uh, charity which we would like to raise money for as well. We've also got a student council, SUMG, uh, so student union management groups, we've got student councils, uh, as well as lots of different clubs and societies to get yourself into. I think we've even got um, clubs and societies running remotely this evening, so it's uh, there's lots and lots to do here whilst you're, you're a student. Like I said, if you've got any questions, um, then I will start reading through some of those, so let me have a little look to see if there's any for support. So question from Holly, I know uh, that question popped up earlier and I'm pretty sure it's been waiting for me for about 20 minutes. So do you have any sports teams and what are they? Holly, we've got loads of sports teams. Okay, so we've got loads of different academies. We've got um, football, rugby, netball, hockey. Um, and as well as that, we've also got our GCS active um, provision. So pretty much any sport that you play, we can put that activity on for you. If you've never tried rock climbing and you want to try rock climbing, we can take you out rock climbing. If you'd like to, to go kayaking or canoeing, then we can also do that for you. So there's no sport that is too out there for us. We, we've always looking to, to try and do those. Let's have a look to see what else we've got. So Ezekiel, I've got a question here from you. It says, when would the buses be turning up in the mornings uh, and what time would the day start? So the buses turn up anytime from half past eight until nine o'clock. OK, and lessons start between nine o'clock and ten o'clock in the mornings. And then the, the end of the day, so exactly the same, the buses will be taking you home and they finish from any time between four and half past four, depending on which course you're doing. Lots of questions here, not specifically about so when the courses start, I've got here from Anonymous. So courses start uh, in September, um, but apply as soon as possible, and then we can get those interviews in for you, ready for you to start in September. And some questions here are specifically for specific courses. So if you have got a specific course question, then you can go into our live chat function um, and you can chat to somebody who will have the answers for you as they will be from a specific course. Uh, anonymous here about sports academies. So yeah, we do have, like I said, we do have the sports academies and there are scholarships as well. So if you are playing at a county level or a national level, then we do have our uh, scholarship pathway as well. So, and with that, you receive um, uh, discounted gym memberships, one-to-one uh, -one training support um, and extra time as well. So let's see what else we've got. So I've got here about uh, resitting maths and English. So we also do um, resits for maths and English uh, alongside your course that you're doing. So if you do not get the grade that you um, wanted, OK, or you needed to get onto the course, then we do do resits here. So you can do those alongside your course. OK, so I've got a question here about the buses and I've had quite a few here about the buses. So we've got a um, dedicated team here really that look after um, the different bus routes. So if you do need any advice there uh, when you come in for your interview we will be able to give you your pack that will tell you exactly if you um, what bus you need to get where to get it okay um, so we've got dedicated teams that will be able to help you out with your bus routes and yes they are from all over Swansea and it's not just Swansea based okay so we do have bus buses coming in as far as Carmarthen and uh, other ways such as Neath as well from Neil about age restriction okay so it depends what course uh, you need to do uh, you, you want to do okay but it uh, there isn't a age restriction there is obviously you need the restrictions for the courses um, from your grades okay Evan I've got a question here for you from you um, so what provisions are there for students with ASD and ADHD okay so like I said earlier so we've got a, a dedicated ALN team here within the college so additional learning needs team and a neuro neurodiversity team 
and um, so they are there to help you throughout every step of the way um, throughout college. Uh, you can write yourself a one page profile at the start of the year and anything. So even if you don't suffer from additional learner needs, then we can cater for your needs. If you can't um, read black and white, then we will print things in, in yellow. If you, you know, there's there's plenty of different things that we can do to help you. Yes, yeah, so the but another one about the buses, lots of buses. OK, so the bus does take you straight here to Gassigny campus. We've got a bus park uh, opposite our car park. The bus will drop you off here in the morning and pick you up on the way back. Again, lots of courses here. Evan about electronics course. OK, so if you go into the live chat, you'll be able to have a chat with somebody there. Pip, a question from you about drama as well. OK, so if you go into the, the live chat and somebody will be able to answer that for you. Uh, so it depends on how many A-levels you take and what courses you take, depending on how many hours um, you'll be in college. So you'll be in college for three or four days, um, depending on how many A-levels you take. Uh, interviews will be, uh, so if you get your application into us, um, then our interview process will be pretty soon after that. So you should be able to hear something through the post. Uh, anonymous, do you need to sign up for the sports academy such as rugby? So yeah, if in your interview, OK, or in your application, state that you play rugby and at what level, OK, and when you come in for your chat or your, your interview, um, then we can sort those sports academies out for you. We've also got trials that are held in the summer. So if you are um, serious about your sport, then we do hold trial days before September. So if you could let us know as soon as possible that you are interested in rugby, um, then this can really help that process of getting you into one of the top teams in the college. I know that there are buses that do come from Carmarthen, however, I can't tell you exactly where to get the bus from Carmarthen, but again, we do have the, the bus team that would be able to help you. So I've got one here about um, support for medicine. Um, so yeah, so you do need to be a student here because that is part of our honours programme. So you do need to be a student at Gower College to be able to access those. Okay, so I've got a question here um, in Welsh from Raj, so I'm going to answer this uh, in English. So the transition from Welsh to English. So we've got a dedicated Welsh uh, transition team in the college as well. Um, so we've got a Welsh manager and um, a Welsh officer, and they're there to help you through every step of the way. Um, some courses we do offer um, Welsh courses as well. So if you are looking at um, studying Welsh at A-level, then we, we do offer that course. Talk to about apprenticeships. So with our apprenticeships, we've also got um, a team based down in Jubilee Court that will look at all of the um, apprenticeships. So uh, later on, so next week, Monday and Tuesday, we've got other open evenings. So if you could attend one of those, um, then we can help you out with the apprenticeships as well, because we've got lots of different apprenticeships that we can offer. I think that's pretty much it. I covered everything. So yeah, so just in summary, we've got a, a massive support system in college, whether that's for ALN, whether that's for um, any of the sports academies or anything. OK, so thank you very much for listening. Uh, we look forward to having your applications in, getting you through your interviews and seeing you next September. Thank you very much. Thank you all for attending. We'll keep this event running to finish answering some of your questions by text. Our text-based chat rooms for subject and sub support specific questions are open until 7.30 p.m. and the details are on the screen. I've also put a link as an announcement in the Q&A. Thanks again and we hope to see you soon.